All right, please welcome to stage, Henry Ginsberg. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very uh, nice uh, to be here. So I normally uh, like to start my tests by asking, do we have any um, single people in here? Give me a cheer if you're single. Hey, well, well, some of you are very happy about it. I actually got a round of applause there. <laughs> Yay, freedom. Brilliant, oh, good. It's good. No, it's good. I actually uh, proposed to my girlfriend the other day. And, um, and um, yeah, yeah, she didn't text back. So, uh, <laughs> spending a lot of time alone. So, uh, one of the things I do is I watch a lot of documentaries. Uh, now, I recently watched a documentary all about the Roman Emperor Nero. Uh, here are some facts about Nero I learned. Uh, during his reign, he had an incestuous relationship with his mother. Yep. Uh, he kicked his pregnant wife to death. And he persecuted the Christians so violently that they believed him to be the Antichrist. Uh, and it's facts like that that make me wonder, how long does a psychotic mass murderer have to have been dead for before it's socially acceptable to name a high street coffee shop after them? <laughs> yeah, because there must have been a meeting, must not there? Like, guys, what sort of image do we want to go with here? You know, like, I want to know what the cutoff point is. Like, I'm pretty sure today, if, if I opened a bar called Stalin's, you know, that's... <laughs> You know what I mean? For happy hour at Stalin's, all drinks are half price, but some drinks are more half price than others. I think. Uh, <laughs> eyebrows would be raised. So, my name is uh, Ginsburg. It's a Jewish surname, ladies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, once you go Jew, the rest won't do. <laughs> yeah, um, nobody says that. I am. Um, <laughs> I wasn't um, raised in a religious household. I'm glad I wasn't raised religious, uh, uh, I'll be honest, because um, uh, as religions go, Judaism is not one of the cool ones. It really isn't. For example, uh, the story of Hanukkah, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it features probably the shittest miracle in all of religion. Because <laughs> like, when you think of miracles in religion, you think of like, you know, Jesus rising from the dead, and you think of Moses parting the seas. You know what the miracle of Hanukkah is? There's only enough oil to light a lamp for one night. <laughs> but it burns for eight nights. <laughs> That's it, you know. I, I mean, I hate to confirm the stereotype that Jews are stingy, but... <laughs> it, it's the only religion that's got a festival celebrating fuel efficiency, so... Uh, <laughs> um, you see, um... I'm glad you clapped there, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, of course, because obviously like, there is a lot of anti-Semitism in the world. Like, um, here's something I've noticed. Um, I don't know if you have, but uh, Jews are the only ethnic group that never gets fetishized in porn. <laughs> yeah, you go on like the interracial section and any porn site, all the videos are like big black cock or, you know. <laughs> Tight Asian girls. And listen, look, you know, I'm not saying that's okay because, like, it's not. It's dehumanizing and racist and wrong. However, I've got to admit, I feel a bit left out, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, just once I want to go on Pornhub and see a thumbnail, watch this nice Jewish girl get schnooped, you know? <laughs> you know, just once see a porn film where a guy comes to the front door, like, hey, baby, I've come to do the accounts, you know? Uh, <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not the most uh, stereotypically manly person. I'm not. I'm quite a gender non-conforming uh, person in many ways. Like, I, I happen to enjoy a lot of things which are stereotypically regarded as feminine, you know, like uh, rom-coms and foreplay. And, um, <laughs> see, I don't think we had good masculine role models growing up as men. Like, when I was a kid, I used to watch James Bond movies, and I used to idolize James Bond. And, like, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but James Bond is a sociopathic alcoholic sex pest. You know, I've seen at the end of Goldfinger where he like wrestles Pussy Girl to like, the ground. I mean, he literally pushes himself down on her. And like, because it's got the romantic music playing in the background, you, you watch it as a child and you think, oh, she can't resist his charm. And, yeah, you watch it again as an adult, you're like, oh, she can't resist his upper body strength. I, uh, <laughs> he drinks vodka martinis and yet we never actually see him get shit faced, do we? we? We've never seen that scene in a bomb film where he's just on his phone at two in the morning going, oi, Q, I fucking love you, mate. You know? <laughs> Every scene, vodka martini, vodka martini. Really, by the end of that film, he should be crashing into the enemy's secret base. Just... <laughs> 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 